I've explained the action thriller film from 2012 titled Safe. Spoilers ahead. Watch out, and enjoy the recap. The film opens up in Nanjing, China, Mei is a math prodigy with an aptitude for memorizing numerical codes and solving complex problems. One morning, as Mei was crossing the street, she was kidnapped by a group of men, and she was taken to the mafia lord named Han. Given that computers may be easily traceable, Han intends to use her to calculate his nefarious business. Mei initially rejects Han's request, but when he threatens to kill her sick mother, she decides to comply. Under the care of Han's right-hand gang member named Chang, Mei is immediately transported to America. However, in Meadowlands, New Jersey, a former police officer named Luke is competing in a cage fight and is predicted to lose. Unlikely, Luke throws a punch that puts the opponent into a coma. As a result, the Russian Mafia syndicate leader named Dokoski suffers significant financial losses. Dokoski is exceedingly resentful, and the entire Mafia organization threatens to exact retribution on Luke's entire family. Luke then hastily returns home to warn his pregnant wife, but sadly, it's already too late. Because they were quicker, the Russians had already murdered his wife. Vasily, Dokoski's son, claims that Luke caused a remarkable loss to their gambling business and disgraced the family name. He goes on to say that if he doesn't clean up his mess by leaving the city, they will kill everyone who speaks to him. Although Luke is physically capable of fighting back, he chooses not to take action because he is crushed by the killing of his wife. Luke wanders through the streets of New York, but fortunately, he comes across the Manhattan homeless shelter. A year later, May has mastered the Chinatown industry. She is able to describe the costs, revenues, and percentage of profits made each week and month for each store. May has gained knowledge of how the gangster world operates. Whoever suffers losses turns into a liability and gets removed. That night, the maid informed May that her mother had passed away back in China. Chang kept it a secret because he never wanted her to lose sight of her work. During the sunset, Luke meets a man who has badly diseased feet and no shoes. He offers him his shoes out of compassion. But when he awakens the following morning, he only finds out that the man had his throat slit. And in addition, the shoes were stolen. Perplexingly, Luke is unable to explain anything, which causes him to be banished from the shelter. While Han, the mafia boss from China, travels to the United States to expand his business and strike new deals with various government figures. The first thing that Han provides May is a sheet of paper with a set of numerical codes to memorize. The codes seem to be highly valuable, taking into account that Han burns the paper after May has memorized them. After that, Chang takes May to another location for more codes. Not until they're attacked by Russians on the orders of Vasily, who killed Luke's wife. May's memorization of the codes has drawn their attention. The Chinese were numerically outnumbered when the Russians opened fire on them. In the process, May is kidnapped and taken away. Luke learns that he has been robbed by the poor guy he had just met on the street when he goes to the grocery store to buy candy. The cop throws him outside before noticing he is his former colleague in the police force. Luke is driven to the abandoned building. They're still indignant about him because seven years ago, Luke quashed their corruption schemes that led to internal disputes and forced Luke to resign from the force. He's assailed and threatened by them. At a certain point, one cop hands him a gun to kill himself. Luke declines and walks away. Finally, May is presented to the Russian Mafia boss, Dokoski. She is under duress as he demands the codes. May learns that the maid who told her about her mother had been working for the Russians all along. She implores May to reveal the code to them. But May cautions her that she's going to die because she doesn't know how business works around here, and Vasily shoots her dead right away. Immediately, Police cars and men under the command of a corrupt officer named Captain Wolf surround Dokoski's apartments, but he is unable to execute any laws because he is receiving instructions from Han's right-hand man, Chang. Dokoski calls Captain Wolf and assures him that he will double the Chinese offer if he agrees to leave. Wolf agreed and retreated. During the hubbub, May sneaks out of the window and escapes. After realizing how badly the Chinese have been treated by the cops, Han instructs Chang to manhunt the girl and kill every corrupt police officer as retaliation. When May arrives on the Manhattan subway, Luke has nowhere to go and no one to call. He has already made up his mind to throw himself into the fast-moving train. Just then, Luke cites a young girl being pursued by the Russian mafia that murdered his wife. He decides to give it a try to save this beautiful soul. After a protracted chase, Luke finally encounters the Russians on the train, where he uses his talent for cage fighting to physically beat and outmaneuver them. One of the goons is shocked to discover Amon, who appears to be a beggar and has eliminated his team in seconds. Luke also kills him at the end. Luke isn't ready to stay poor forever, he steals the Russian's wallet and phone. May vanishes with the crowd when the train stops, since she doesn't trust anyone. Luke is shocked to hear the police speak about the girl over the radio. 
Dokuski gives his son the command to kill everyone, including May, after knowing that it is no longer feasible to have her back. May's attempt to flee appears to be proceeding as planned, but she runs into a dirty cop's hands. New York is too small, it's easy for Luke to find them and knock them out. May doesn't trust Luke because he looks like a bad guy. But May gets inside the car when the Russians show up in order to be saved by Luke. It turns into a streetcar race. At last, Luke ambushed and killed them all. To Captain Wolf's disappointment, he gets a call from one of the cops that Luke has taken the Chinese girl from the group. It makes a wolf wonder that Luke has not been associated with any crime since he left the police force. After a protracted search, Luke used the money he stole from the Russians to make hotel reservations. May has come to trust Luke. She reveals to him the reason why the Russians are pursuing her. May tells him that she has memorized the numerical and sequential codes. She goes on to say that before the Russians attack them, she had to memorize another code. Luke figures out that the figures correspond to the safe combination. That implies that there are two safes, each in a different place. May begs Luke not to return her to Han because she fears that he will kill her. The frightened New York mayor, Danny, meets Captain Wolf after learning that May is in Luke's hands. Danny believes Wolf is insubordinate and insignificant and is oblivious to managing city security. The mayor informs him about Luke, before becoming a police officer, he and Alex, now the mayor's assistant, worked for the CIA before September 11th, and they carried out several covert government missions. He warns that Luke will return to them all if he is not killed before the fall, therefore, he had better dig his grave first. Chang tracked May's location to the hotel. The Chinese started by opening fire on the police officers outside and inside the hotel causing chaos in every hallway. Hearing the gun riffling sounds, Luke understood they had been located using May's device, and he had to get rid of it. At some point, Luke finds himself physically challenged and has to challenge the Chinese. Chang snatches May and starts shooting at Luke. Before being put to death, he jumps out the window and escapes. Luke phones Vasily on the stolen phone, pretending to have the codes everyone is looking for while speaking in a Russian accent. He claims that the girl gave it to him before the Chinese took her away. The thing with which Vasily agrees finally, May is returned to Han, who questions her regarding Luke and if she revealed any of the codes to him. May states that when Luke asked her, she claimed to not know how to speak English. Chang persuades Han that May couldn't tell Luke anything since he believes in her royal status. Luke meets Vasily at the hotel, where he shoots everyone in his path in order to kidnap Vasily. Luke snatches Vasily and pulls him out of the hotel, he then makes a call to Dokuski to bargain, using Vasily as a negotiating chip. He asks what's stored in the safe and what it contains. It comes out that the mayor and the Chinese gang each keep each other safe. Dokuski informs him that the Chinese gang is keeping a safe with $30 million in it, which they intend to conduct business with the mayor of New York. Dokuski goes on to claim that the Chinese desire to exchange that money for the secret material in the mayor's safe, using the girl for the combination. Therefore, Luke needs to obtain $30 million from the Chinese mob to get May back. Vasily begs Luke to kill him so that he may stop feeling the pain, and Luke responds by telling him that he would kill him after getting the girl back. To finish his mission, Luke requires a large number of personnel. Following that, he contacts his former criminal police colleagues, including Captain Wolf. Due to his most recent betrayal, no one trusts him, but until Luke guarantees them an equal split of the cash if they manage to open the safe from Chinatown, the gunfight begins as they storm the casino. Luke saves his bullets while engaging the Chinese physically. When Captain Wolf intentionally fatally shoots one of his crew members, Luke commands them to put their weapons down. Luke is concerned that they could shoot him after opening the safe. As soon as they put down their guns, Luke swiftly kills everyone but Captain Wolf, who's still alive since he needs to use him to get away from the police. After receiving the money, Luke phones Alex to inquire about the contents of the safe in the mayor's office. He has the funds, so Alex reveals to him that the safe has a disk containing data on all of the transactions between mafia gangs and government officials. The Chinese want it for the purpose of using blackmail and other forms of control over government officials. Alex is instructed by Luke to find May if he wants the money he and the mayor were supposed to receive from the Chinese. The money has already been stolen by Luke, so when Alex meets the Chinese, he doesn't wait for codes because it's pointless. He kills Chang and his crew within a short period of time. He drives alongside May quickly to meet Luke. In the mayor's office, Luke walks in and makes the mayor unlock the safe to get the CD. After understanding that the disc is authentic, he knocks the mayor down. Money and the disc are in Luke's hands, but he's more intrigued by May. When Alex meets Luke, Alex started by pointing the gun at May. Luke challenges him to resolve the dispute through physical combat. Alex is abruptly shot in the leg by May, and Luke curtly shoots him multiple times. 
May witnessed Alex quickly and mercilessly eliminate the entire Chinese gang. She can't stand seeing Luke lose. Luke now has the resources to begin a new life and the disc to serve as his backup plan. After some time, Captain Wolf is freed by Luke, who also pays him $50,000 for his services. Luke sends $29 million back to Han with a warning, directing him to return to China and never come back to America. He orders Wolf to find Vasily an appropriate punishment for the crimes he committed. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications to watch more of my videos. Have a good day.